In this video, we're going to talk about the angles of elevation and depression. So look at the first diagram. If OA is the horizontal ray through the eye of the observer at point O, and there are two objects, that are B and C, above the horizontal ray OA, we have object B, and below we have object C. Okay, so for looking at B above the horizontal ray, we have to raise our eye and this angle AOB is called the angle of elevation. And for looking at C below the horizontal ray, we have to lower our eye and angle AOC is called the angle of depression. Let's take an example. A string of a flying kite is 200 meter long and its angle of elevation is 60 degree. And we have to find the height of the kite above the ground, taking the string to be full stretch. So first of all, we need to draw the diagram like that. 200 meter, this is the length of the string, and OA represents the horizontal level of the ground, and AC is going to be the height of the kite. That's represented by X. You can represent it by X or Y or any variable. Okay, so we're going to solve this example by using a trigonometric function to figure out this right angle triangle. So let's try to figure out. Because we have to figure out the value of x, that is height. So we can use a trigonometric function that is called sine. And the angle of elevation is 60 degree. So we can write sine 60 degree equals, because sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse. So we can write perpendicular over hypotenuse. 200 meter. So we need to figure out the value of x. So by cross multiplication, x would be 200 sine 60 degree. Okay, so x equals 200 sine 60 degree is equal to under 3 over 2 use your calculator and multiply 200 with under 3 over 2 you would get 173.2 meters that is the height of the kite from the crown okay pause the video and try to figure out a practice question that is vertical A vertical pole is 8 meter high and the length of its shadow is 6 meter. What is the angle of elevation? What is the angle of elevation of the sun at that moment? Okay, pause the video and try to figure out this practice question. You need to draw the diagram. And after that, you have to select a suitable trigonometric function to figure out the angle of the elevation. Hope it would be helpful for you. 